everybody. It's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching. You hear the whining in the background? Layla's dropped something. She's whining about. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. I'm sorry there was not a fancy opening montage. <laughs> it's just, it'll be back tomorrow, hopefully. Um, I almost like just didn't vlog today, but I do want to vlog every day of Vlogmas. So even when things are kind of crowdy, and not perfect I'm gonna vlog <laughs> so I ended the vlog last night telling you guys how much pain I was in I was just really uncomfortable I ended up um, being nervous enough that I wanted to call the on-call doctor at the hospital or the you know through my doctor's office my OB and talk to them about it even though I do have I did have an appointment scheduled um, for Tuesday which is in a couple days but I wanted to go ahead and just mention it to them and make sure they didn't want to see me sooner or there was something I needed to come in for emergency wise. And um, I talked to the doctor and she basically said, there's nothing they can do. I was just what I figured she would say, but she did say you need to stay off your feet and rest. And um, that's basically all you can do. So, and she's like, we'll check it out more on Tuesday, but if it's what we think it is, um, something you can do it just is gonna get she said maybe get worse before it gets better and then after the baby's born it should go away so fun not exactly what I wanted to hear I mean the baby's fine the baby is completely fine I'm just in a lot of pain um, and have a lot of pressure so it's not fun dilemma was I was supposed to be at church today for a huge um, the lights coming in bright um, for a big yeah, well I was supposed to teach and then I was supposed to do a kids Christmas party we've been advertising it for like a month and I was really excited about it prepped for it ready for it and um, after she told me that I told David well what am I gonna do <laughs> what are we gonna do um, and it's complicated by the fact that everyone else in the church is gonna be at the Christmas banquet for like all the adults so we didn't really have anybody to cover for me. It's not good. But, of course, I have to listen to my doctor's advice and do what she says. And I'm sorry. Layla is messing around with the blinds and it's making it really bright in here and it's washing me out. So, we did find a very sweet, sweet lady at church to cover my class for me. And then my sweet husband is going to do the Christmas party for me because nobody else can do it because they're all going to be in the banquet. So, he's going to have kids. I don't know. I wish I had it filmed because he's going to have to entertain them during the Christmas banquet, which I think is going on right about now. It's like getting close to noon. Have you ever tried to stay off your feet and lay down as much as possible while also taking care of two kids? Not easy. So I've just been doing what I can. Uh, when David gets home, I will lay down. But I've been reclining in this recliner and then just getting up here and there as I need to to deal with things. Um, I even folded some clothes while laying down in the bed and, uh, that was fun, <laughs> but we desperately, desperately need clean clothes. Y'all, I feel like we are in crisis mode with this house and her telling me that makes me think that it could get a lot worse. Like, um, the house could get a lot worse. <laughs> so, hi, hi, hi. It's just, it's a hot mess. And we have Christmas, of course, like this is the worst week for that to happen because, David's going to be so busy with Christmas stuff. He's actually preaching next Sunday. He has a youth Christmas party on Wednesday. And I am like out of commission. So, but we have to do what we have to do. And we want baby to be healthy. We want mommy to be healthy. And we want mommy to not be in so much pain. And so she's like, get off your feet, lay down. Um, she told me to order like a belly band uh, support thing. And I found one, a ridiculous looking one on Amazon. It even has like a groin uh, support as well and the belly band. And I've heard really good reviews on it. It was like 70 bucks, y'all. At this point, I don't care. Like I've tried ice. I've tried tux pads. This may be TMI. I've tried um, like Dermablast spray. Everything. <laughs> nothing really helps the only thing that helps is to completely lay down and then I don't hurt at all but it's pretty impossible to lay down 24 7 you know so anyway that's how vlogmas has turned into me looking like this talking to you guys about all the pain I'm in 
Um, but anyway, I do want to vlog today. We'll get David on camera and ask him how, how the kids' Christmas party went. Oh, Lord, it's going to be... I need to pray for him really hard. Um, it, it shouldn't be. He should be fine. David's really good with kids. But he's, you know, he's not used to dealing with them at church. He's used to dealing with our kids, you know. But uh, it'll be interesting for him. And, um, I mean, I know everybody understands. And it is it is what it is or whatever. But I feel bad. Like, I feel like it's my fault. Even though I know it's not. But I feel like I let everybody down. Not gonna cry. <laughs> I'm also very emotional because everything of go that's going on and just the hormones and pregnancy life. But anyway, the kids have just been playing, entertaining themselves. I did make them a very quick lunch. Lucy had like a snacky lunch of veggies and fruit and pepperoni, and I made Nate a quick quesadilla. So they've eaten. They're happy, and I'm just chilling here, sitting on my pillow. When David gets home, I might get in the bathtub, and then I'm just gonna lay down the rest of the night. It's just going to be very interesting this week um, and into Christmas if I can't really do much besides just play around because you guys know when mommy is out of commission, the house doesn't go as smoothly. <laughs> so anyway, it's going to be okay. We're going to get through it. And thankfully, it's nothing serious. It's nothing that's going to long-term affect me or the baby. It's just a very annoying complication of pregnancy. So. I am going to get off of here because I look horrible, especially when Layla keeps opening the blinds. She loves to look out the window and guard this house. When David is not here, she is like our guard dog. And she will go crazy at anybody who even thinks to walk by. <laughs> I don't know what she thinks she's going to do. She's eight pounds, but she sounds tough. <laughs> she sounds tough. And me being pregnant on top of it, she is super, super on guard. But anyway, um... Anyways, I did finish up my Christmas shopping because I had a little bit of a panic attack this morning going, oh my gosh, if I can't get up to go shopping, I need to like have orders placed or they have time to be shipped here. So I only had a couple more things to get people. These, these are not the best gifts ever. They are very unique. Not, I mean, not unique. They are very run-of-the-mill <laughs> gifts, you know, And um, but they're all going to hopefully be here by Christmas. Let's pray. I haven't wrapped any of them, but at least they're all bought. I think we are done, except for um, some, I don't want to say it out loud. We still need to get stockings done first. We still need to get those, but I can send David to get that stuff. We do a very minimal because my kids get one from each set of grandparents and they get one from Santa. Santa. So um, we do a very small one because they don't need three huge stockings. But anyway, we're pretty much done with Christmas shopping. So that's a load off my mind. And this year may be the year of the gift bag instead of the fancy wrapping paper. That's fine. Most everything I think will fit in a gift bag. There might be a couple we have to wrap. So anyway, I'm just rambling on. You guys are like my outlet today because I wish I had somebody I could talk to. Like, oh my gosh, David's at church. The kids are here with me. I'm miserable. <laughs> um, but we're, we're good. I mean, you know, pregnancy is a, it is a amazing thing which your body can go through. Um, and Honestly, this is very uncomfortable, but it's nothing serious that we think we don't think it is. So, um, the doctor was like, yeah, this is very unfortunate for you because it's miserable. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> thanks so much. That's so good to hear. And then she's like, it'll get worse before it gets better. Thanks <laughs> so much. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. We'll get the lowdown from David on how the kids Christmas party went and We'll vlog whatever we do today, which is not much. We're doing some laundry and we're hanging out at home. Okay, everybody. So it is now 8.15. David's back. <laughs> so, um, I got a haircut. Uh, he did get a haircut yesterday. So did Nate. Nate looks great. Yeah. I, I never showed you guys Nate's hair after. I feel like we look weird if we're sitting in a bright light. Um, I never showed you guys Nate's haircut. Well, now, now you're going to be in the dark with the halo behind you. <laughs> this vlog is not the best. <laughs> I'm just telling you. It's not the best. And my glasses pick up 
the reflection of the camera. So it's going to drive me crazy, but um, I have to be able to see. So Look at your bodyguard. I did not <laughs> show y'all Nate's haircut, but he did great. There was a time where haircuts were optional. Well, they were bad. Barely optional. <laughs> there was a time where we had to leave with him with haircuts, and it was a big fiasco. But he's, he does so good now. So I was telling them a little bit about what's going on and the fact that you had to cover with me at church. I wish y'all could see how far my legs are spread right now <laughs> to, to, be get this, to, to be the same height as her. Um, so if I, how if did I do it, a split here, you're going to hear a very high-pitched squeal. So David had to take care of four kids? Yeah. And, and they're at, very at active the, kids. At the party, yeah. And how'd it go? It went well. It went well. It was uh, it was an adjustment for me. I hadn't done that in a while, uh, but it's in my blood. I've I've been involved with kids ministry off and on since I was like sixteen. So um, I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I mean that. I mean, I want my big thing is if I was a kid, what would ha what would be fun for me? And if it's even a little bit fun for me, and as a, as an adult, it's probably gonna be fun for the kids. So and it wasn't long, right? No, it was like an hour, just an hour, and yeah. we. You know, we showed uh, VeggieTales, the toy that saved Christmas, which I know it's an old one. It's like 1998, but it's it's a classic, and they're at that age where it's still fun for them. Um, and actually, you know, some of these kids, they like throwback stuff oh, because yeah. they, they're so inundated with high-definition so stuff. Had, so they had food. Had and food for them, games. had a couple more games for them, which FYI, if you're out there and you want to keep kids entertained, believe it or not, Bingo. Our kids love bingo. Works for We do it every kids. holiday and they love it. Even like this time you had prizes, but I've done it where yeah. we don't even have prizes. They Having prizes helps, but even if it's they just, just to kill love time, it. they love getting a bingo. So. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's always a winner. And yeah. I, I still am having difficulties with the lighting and, yeah, the, yeah. and the focusing. Um, I am feeling good. I mean, a lot better today, and I think it well, it has to do with all the resting all I've been able to down. do. Yes. Uh, I mean, there was a certain level while you were gone that I right. had to be up with the kids, but I still tried to When I rest. got home, I shift into helping <laughs> out gear and letting her sleep and rest. So. And it's been awesome, and I've noticed the pain level has been yeah, sure. way less, way less. So we still go to the doctor on Tuesday to get more answers, but everything, mm -hmm. the baby's fine. I'm fine. It's not dangerous or anything right. that we know of. It's just painful. Yeah. So, I appreciate thank you for all your prayers, all your prayers and concern and love and all of that. We're good, and we're gonna tweak Christmas how we have to and yeah. do what we have to do to get through the last well, who knows how many weeks until he's born. Yep. Hopefully, a good little while before he's born because yeah, he's we not want ready you well yet. done, Mark. We don't want you rare. <laughs> we want you well done. I want him well done, and he's he's been totally happy today, moving and kicking and all. All of that. And so it's been nice to just rest a little bit. Because he knew his daddy was coming home. Maybe. The kids have been good. Um, our tree is slowly losing more lights. You guys know our saga with the Christmas tree. Last year. I really think we Clo should closing just, out Closing out a decade with the tree. I think before we leave to go home, we should just tear it down. I agree. <laughs> and that yeah. way we don't have to come home to it. Yeah, we can tear it down um, on Friday. It's really sad. <laughs> but we, me and the kids have been home all day, but they've had lots of fun. They've been playing with each other. And mm -hmm. Lucy is so sweet with Nate trying to like what were they saying today uh nate was like coming up to her saying who are you he was coming up to all of us saying who yeah. are you i was in the bathtub yeah. and he kept coming up to me saying who are you and i'd say i'm mommy yeah and then he'd run in here and say who are you who i'm are daddy you? who are you i'm lucy and then he said this is lucy she's my sister and lucy would go this is nate he's my brother and then nate would go and we are family oh and i wish and we was, had that on video i know they did it when i when i was nowhere near a camera <laughs> i was like you should have videoed yeah. that so there's no clips of the kids there's no clips of anything exciting ralph did bring lucy a christmas tree little debbie so she was excited about that <laughs> um but i don't have a video of even that yeah, <laughs> so this is just safe this is like a survival day. Almost a throwaway video, but... I almost didn't vlog at all, but I know you guys would be worried. I'm okay. Yeah. I've just been told to lay it down as much as possible. Quick update video. Quick update. Well, it's not very quick. It's semi-quick. Well, compared to a 20-minute vlog. I don't know. Funny. I've already talked for 10 minutes before this, and then out five minutes oh, now. Well, but anyway, that's okay. Um, tomorrow, I think David's going to go into work so yeah. that he can be off on Tuesday with me. Yeah, pastor's heading out of town uh, sometime in the midweek, so we wanted to meet and do some stuff together planning wise before because we won't see each other until yeah our pastor's going out of town and then christmas. he gets back right about the time we leave he, he gets back christmas eve yeah and then his son is flying in to see them christmas day so uh that's why they're coming back for that so i won't see him again until the like friday before 
uh, the 29th. What is that? 27th. So yeah, I'll be coming back to prepare for the weekend and do some New Year's so, planning. So. Yeah, so Dave's going to go work and work, and I have a grocery order ready for him. And I will pick it up and bring it home, and hopefully tomorrow, <laughs> after I take the kids to school, she can rest yeah, most gonna of rest. the day. The laundry's pretty much caught up. Yeah. I folded some. David's been doing a lot, and you put them all away for me. Mm -hmm. um, I except can fold. One. Laying except down, this, I can fold. Except for this one basket of our clothes. That's our clothes. Yeah. That's our clothes. Um, they, I, all their clothes are put away. Yay. Everybody has clean underwear. That's my main concern. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And um, I could like I'm trying to think of things I can do like laying down. I could definitely fold laundry if he brings it to me. I can fold it, put mm -hmm. it on hangers. Yeah. Um, and I haven't really been sleeping. I've just been laying with yeah. like a pillow under my hips, and that has made a world of difference. Like yesterday, I know I'm standing up now, but I just got up. Yesterday, I was on my feet. We left here at 8 o'clock in the morning, and we didn't get home till 3. That's yeah. a long time. That's a school day on your feet. And so I was hurting so bad. That's why I ended up calling the OB and everything last night because mm -hmm. I was in so much pain. So this day has been so much better. So if I can just stay off. Yeah. And I have my belly band and everything. I don't know if I told you guys about that. I think I did. I'm um, coming on Wednesday. So hopefully that will help with the pressure and stuff too. I don't know what's going on with my camera. I look like we're like in the... Like, <laughs> I don't know. It kind of looks like there is a filter. It doesn't look normal. Um, the other day it got caught on a weird, weird setting, so it might be. Sometimes Nate likes to play with my camera. But anyway, I love you guys. Hopefully tomorrow's vlog will be maybe a little more exciting, but probably not. But I appreciate you guys, your love, your prayers, your thoughts. I'm going to actually make some dinner right now for myself. Everybody else has eaten. And I'm going to fill out some Christmas cards as I'm... <laughs> See our, see our sad tree. I'm going to fill out some Christmas cards as I'm resting. So we'll get those out tomorrow. Love you guys. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys all later. Bye.